Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the G.I. Joe classified figure, Barbecue. This is a Target exclusive. It wasn't very hard to get my hands on it because pre-orders have been open since last summer. The figure costs $22.99. And God, man, I am really excited about this figure. We'll flip this box around. You can see what the back looks like. It's just a pretty standard Cobra Island image. And for some reason, it doesn't want to stand up anymore. That's all right. There's nothing there. We'll go over here to the left side and you'll see this really cool art. Uh, it looks kind of blurry or maybe like a bit of a 3D image. But just imagine the intense heat that barbecue is in. There's all this flame and explosion and fire and it just gives this illusion of he's in the middle of some intense heat. Anyway, the art is by John Jing, I think is Jing is how you say it. You know, I apologize if I miss miss uh, spoke it, but the art really is pretty amazing and here's the other piece of art right there in the front. We'll flip over here to the right side of the package and we see his iconography. We, well, we have his name, he is number 32, and we have these. And essentially what these are saying is that Barbecue has training and experience for missions in a specific environment, and he is qualified to use razor sharp weapons such as axes. He knows how to mix and refine chemicals into powerfully advanced combinations. And finally, Barbecue knows how to properly rescue people from dangerous situations. That's a pretty cool sounding character, if you ask me, but I like barbecue. If you want to see his barcode, here it is. It's time to free barbecue from the box. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. Barbecue has heroism in his DNA. He comes from a long line of firefighters. Six generations of Kellys before him served as members of the Boston Fire Department. As the temperature rises, his threat response rises along with it. He displays incredible focus and determination and lives for the rush of the thrilling rescue. Barbecue is number 32 in the G.I. Joe Classified series. As far as accessories go, Barbecue comes with this extinguisher gun. There's also a hose, a pretty good sized hose, and it will attach to the gun at the end just like that. Then he has his backpack which holds his fire extinguisher, fire um, chemicals, the retardant, and that has a little peg off the left side which will peg into the end of the hose. And then he'll fall over because why not? Get back up there, barbecue. Okay, so then you can rotate this around until it's uh, it's proper. It's got cool uh, little uh, hazard symbols here on the middle canister. That's pretty neat. Uh, right here, see this all kind of goes together so I can talk him. <laughs> just knock something else over. Right here, he has this long axe and that can attach to the backpack right there. It's a bit of a tight, you gotta really kind of push that in there so he can hold on to this long axe. Then he's got this small axe and both of the axes are pretty cool. They've got this silver for the blade to make it look like it's sharp and this one's got a silver handle over here. It's a mean looking handle, I mean, it's got some spikes to it. But these are cool uh, accessories. Barbecue stands about six and a half inches tall, if you can see by that. And then we'll show you that next to someone like Jazzwares, Fortnite, that's Havoc, and Marvel Legends US Agent, he stands about there. We'll switch out US Agent and pop in Black Series Mandalorian, move out Havoc, and put in Jazzwares Halo Master Chief. He's getting pretty tall there at six, about seven inches, I'd say. Pull out Mandalorian. And put in McFarlane Green Lantern. As you can see, Barbecue is starting to get dwarfed up just a little bit. So we'll take out these two figures and you we'll show you what he looks like next to a couple other classified. So here is Cobra Trooper from Classified. He's a little bit taller. He's a bigger guy. And here is the Snake Eyes movie version of Scarlet. And he is quite a bit taller than her that, than you can see. Barbecue is being represented represented as a large guy it looks like and i thought for fun i'd bring in a couple older barbecue figures just to do a quick comparison i've brought in the slaughter's marauders barbecue the original line i don't currently have the original original barbecue so this will be the stand-in for that and i brought in a modern sculpt the four inch size so you can see and he looks he's very similar in design with the uh is this like an air respirator, uh, air breather here in the front? And he's got some pouches and some things on his legs. 
and his mask looks pretty good. I think this is a really good looking update for barbecue. We'll flip him around, we'll flip these guys around. I'm actually really tempted to uh, get another barbecue and create a Slaughter's Marauders version because I like the colors of Slaughter's Marauders. And I think I want to, I've never done a custom paint figure before. I think this just might be my first one. And if I decide to do it, I will make a video and you can all tune in to watch how I fail on my very first ever color custom. But I'm pretty sure if I can find another one of these in stores, I mean, I could probably order it online pretty easily, but I think I really want to do a custom Slaughter's Marauders barbecue. That would be a total amount of fun. And just like that, the figures have disappeared. Now it's time to look at the articulation. Just eyeballing this figure, I think he's about 36. He has about 36 places. So we'll get to it. His head rotates all the way around. This, the articulation on, the, on this figure seems to be generally be pretty easy. He's got the neck rotation, not the neck rotation, but the ball joint in there. If you want him to look down, well, he looks about that far. He's actually a lot better than I thought he would be with this uh, piece up here. If you want him to look up, he can uh, look up about that far. Make sure we're in focus here. I don't want to do all this and be out of focus for you. He's got some ball or in ball joints. Uh, he's got some butterfly joints in here, but well, the left arm works better than the right arm a little bit. His arms will rotate all the way around. If you want him to lift his arms straight up, he can go up about that far right there. It's kind of always weird to articulate figures. Rotate at the bicep, double pin. This is actually pinned, and I'll tell you why these are pinned. Some of the we've some of the other G.I. Joe figures have been pinless, but that's about as far up as his elbows will go. He's got a rotation at the wrist, and his left wrist, I think, is I can't see, but I think it's a, a vertical. It's an up and down. His uh, gloves here really prevent the wrist from moving around. He does have an ab crunch hiding under this vest, but the vest makes it super difficult. It doesn't really matter if he's got an ab crunch because he can't use it. He can go forward about that far. He can go back about that far. His waist does rotate. If you want him to do the splits, he's an excellent gymnastic firefighter here. Uh, when you bring his legs back down, though, if you'll notice, his legs have separated from the waist area. They have the, it has the drop down leg articulation. You might want to be careful because if you just bring his legs right back down and you squeeze them too far, you might break the leg joint in there. I've seen some mention online of stress marks and maybe potential breaks. So as you bring the legs back down, make sure you scoot them back up into the socket into place. I like the drop down legs for certain figures, but I don't think every figure needs them. Uh, maybe posability, you can do some cool things with it, but you want to be really careful in that posability because once once these legs drop down, then you know they're more prone to breaking, I think. But uh, make sure you shove him back down on those legs. If you want him to sit, he'll sit probably about that far. And if you want his legs to go back, well, again, yeah, see, I'm, I already see a stress mark in there, I think. Uh, maybe that's just the light. i got to be careful. It's, sometimes it's the light. If you want to bring his legs back, you got to be careful, because as you bring his leg back, it's going to want to come down like that, which will possibly cause a stress and break. He does have thigh swivel rotation. They're hiding under these belts, so you can rotate the thighs. He's got double pin at the knee, so he can kick his rear end if you really need him to. Put this back. And getting near the end, he has got a rotation at the boot, a hinge at the toe, and a pivot at the ankle. I, did, I said the toe. A hinge at the ankle and a pivot at the ankle. We'll settle him down. Now, if any of this build of this figure looks familiar it should for you gi joe fans this is actually i believe most of the destro sculpt I, I believe this is like all destro here i didn't grab the destro figure i didn't think about it but hiding under this vest is a destro torso and i think actually hang on i'm not gonna think i'm not gonna think but we'll bring in Cobra Trooper. Nope, these are not the same knees. 
but we've seen these knees before. This is mostly a repaint of other figures. There's a couple new pieces. His head is new. His arms, I believe, are, are brand new. And even the boots. Uh, no, the boots may be uh, repaints. I, I should have got that information. I, I wasn't thinking about it. But I really do like this figure. This figure, I've got to say, is really, really awesome. Barbecue was one of my favorites back in the 1980s. And I do say 1980s because one day the 80s will not refer to 1980s. Crazy enough. We're getting close enough to the 80s again. But uh, this was one of my fa favorite characters. And I really do like this figure. I think he's really cool. Um, yeah, he's... <laughs> I know there's a lot of other fan favorite characters out there. There's so many other characters that they could have done first even though barbecue was pretty early in the line but you know i'm i'm glad that we got barbecue because i just like him <laughs> i think he's pretty cool <laughs> so i think he's a great figure and if you're into gi joe or if you want to be into gi joe if you can find barbecue i would highly recommend getting barbecue he will sell out one day since he is an exclusive we might get a repaint we may get you know Maybe there's some chance we might get the Eco Warrior Barbecue. I liked that figure pretty well too. Um, yeah, that would be I would be down for a an Eco Warrior sculpt barbecue. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but uh, it may be a while once this guy sells out. He'll he'll probably be available for about a year on and off. But yeah, he's really great. I like this figure. Now it is your turn. What do you think about this figure? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And on your way out, check out my review of Major Blood, if you haven't already. I think he was the last figure that I did, and it kind of, you know, keeps keeps things in the spirit of G.I. Joe here. Uh, but Major Blood is an, a pretty good Cobra figure. I, I liked him. When did we do him? Um, sometime in the summer, maybe early summer. But I'm going to be doing more G.I. Joe classified in fact i'm going to attempt to do all the gi joe classifieds as we're going forward on the channel because golly i get these figures i look at them and even though i don't get a lot of views i look at these figures and i want to share them with you i want to give you i know you can everyone's got reviews and i'm usually late everyone there's a lot of other people who are early but i want to share my thoughts on these figures because i think they are all so very cool and they all they're just so neat. I, I love these figures. I love the G.I. Joe classified stuff. And so I'm going to be trying, even if I'm late, to get on top of the classified figures. So we'll be doing a lot more G.I. Joe stuff on the channel. I hope you bear with me. And I hope you, you stick around for that ride because I hope it'll be fun. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and watching. Please like this video and share it everywhere if you found it helpful, interesting. I'm trying for entertaining. We'll get there. Anyway, I will see you in the next video.